there. I'm RG. RG Studios. Welcome to the premiere of Hardliner, the web series, episode one. Right now, I have it loaded up on or loading on YouTube. <clears throat> Going to publish it here shortly so the world can see it as such. Yeah, today, this is, oh, excuse me, my foot hit the camera, and uh, I don't want it to move around, but you know how things are around here. <clears throat> it's closely confined, and I'm subject to do stuff. I ain't going to cut it or edit it, so don't worry. Whatever you see is what you get. Okay. What I got here today, like I said, is a live premiere of the uploading of Hardliner on YouTube. It's already loading up right now. I'll publish it here uh, shortly. I want to talk about the art and the convergence of two elements that are special to me in this web series. Now, when I made the original Internet Art Film Hardliner, I was uh, taking the uh, concept elements of the uh, 1980s and 1970s and 60s cop shows, movies at that time that I had viewed as a, as a teenager and child at that time. I, I really enjoyed those films. I'll take a couple of them here right from the top of my head. They're talking about Bullet. Um, Dirty Harry, um, French Connection, you know, these films, you know, got me uh, uh, inspired, you know, as a as a young uh, artist at that time, and I'm, I'm captivated by uh, what the, what's going on here with this stuff. Now, I took those elements and I, I blended them with other elements like that I liked in the uh, mid-80s, the horror films like Friday the 13th, Jason with that butcher knife or whatever that damn thing he was carrying, and uh, Freddy Cougar. You know, these these, these were the, the criminals of uh, the hardliner uh, character, Buck Velvet. Now, as we enter into the world of Buck Velvet, we're going to see the rogue gallery, the villains, the things that made this character what it was in the Hardliner. Uh, and the word, I'm drinking an exotic drink here, uh, non-alcoholic, just for those of you who will see this on here. I like to, this is what I like to drink, you know. I love the characters, um, from the Dick Tracy films, um, not films, but the comic books. Um, I like the black exploitation films. Now, back in the day, they didn't even call them black exploitation, but eventually, as the years rolled by and they disappeared, that became the stamp of knowing black exploitation. It was a concept, an element. The Dick Tracy comic books had the elements of soap opera rogue uh, villains that were like ghoul style, You're like, what are we looking at here, you know, reading, you know, I'm not specifically talking about the films that were created after the comic books, I'm talking about the comic books themselves, because Chester Ghoul, who drew them at the time, he had this style that definitely gave you an illustration of, um, I wouldn't say horror in the sense that we know it, but it's like, ugh, you know, he's, he brought the characters to life on a page. Flat top, actually had a flat head in the comic books. Prune face, he draws with lines that look like a prune, you know. Uh, there were tons of these villains in Dick Tracy. For me as a kid growing up, that was complete art because you're fascinated by this drawing. Uh, I read some of the stories. I, I'm, I'm, I'm admit to you, I didn't read them all. You know, I'm not, I wasn't that um, uh, consumed by it to the point I read every one of the stories of Dick Tracy. But I like the characters. I like Dick Tracy. I like the villains, and I like the black exploitation films of the elements that they would try to bring. And, and I wish 
the, the, uh, the Hollywood uh, at that time, the, that sector that was creating these films, would have kept doing the elements, not, not, not what they uh, degenerated to eventually. By 1976, 75, they had degenerated to like, you know, you know, let's pull the plug on this. And I'm, I'm speaking like when you look at the movie Shaft, um, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. T, Trouble Man, those types of films. I'm, uh, I'm shying away from Superfly. I'm not talking about that one. You know, that was made by uh, uh, Mr. Gordon's son. You know, definitely <laughs> a string away from his dad, uh, Gordon Parks. Uh, definitely. Two different films, two different ways, two different styles, even though it was a big hit in the in the thundera of, uh, of the neighborhoods that I live in. They love Superfly, you know, the drugs, the dope. I'm not speaking of that. He would definitely fit into the Rogue Gallery part of my hardliner. He would be a, a villain, you know, because he's selling drugs to everybody, including kids, you know. So that's where he fits. But... The black exploitation art and the Dick Tracy art of those days is what I was converging in this web series called Hardliner. That's where I was. That's why I'm going with the Hardliner web series uh, episodes. I'm converging that. You know, the look, the style, the tone, the color, all of that is part of the art. Now. <clears throat> I rated it on the first one, not so great, because I kind of like, I, I feel myself. I have a personal view, I'm hard on myself when it comes to how I create my art. Now, how you like it is entirely up to you. You choose, pick, and do your own, your own rating on it and how you like it. I had some disagreements and disappointments on how I presented it and how I crafted it. We're going to make about 24 episodes, so we're going to try to get some of my expressions out as we create these hardliner internet art film webliner episodes, you know. We're going to go there. I have it uh, right now on there. I'm going to publish it here so it can be put on there right now. And we will put it on Facebook, too. So you can see it. Uh. So, uh, yeah, um, this is the beginning of the Hardliners web series, episode one. I'm linking in all my uh, social media data, the uh, Twitter, Facebook. We got a couple more YouTube and such. And blogger. I have a blogger. This is where I put all my ratings uh, stuff here, too. It's on my blogger channel. It's the Internet Art Film History of RG Studios. Publish that on there. Confirm. And now it's on there. Okay. So, we're now published on there. Episode 1 is on YouTube. You can go there and check it out right now. Each episode will be about 5 minutes long. Based on the internet art film, <clears throat> Hardliner, we indulge in the world of Buck Velvet. I hope to make these interesting to... Um, to look at, not only with uh, the convergence of the art con elements that I have and concepts that I have um, just expressed, but also in these, I like to put together techniques that uh, I can experiment with, like foreground miniatures, um, different techniques 
and, and associated with uh, effects and, and such. Um, I'm going to try new things just because I got five minutes. You know how some people make effects reels, stuff like that. I like making effects reels, but if it doesn't have like certain elements or concepts attached to it, I, I, I won't spend my time doing that. So the Hardliner web series is now linked to my Facebook. It's linked to my uh, uh, Twitter and YouTube, and it's on social media as a whole. You can check it out. And I'll uh, reiterate again. These, this, these elements in Hardliner web series, I'm taking from the Dick Tracy comic books, the rogue gallery of the Hardliner. Buck Velvet. We will indulge and go into the world of Buck Velvet and see these criminals. These, uh, the black exploitation when they first come out between the eras of like 1971 and 1974. Those, that art and that comic book art of Dick Tracy is what I'm converging to try to make. And uh, you'll see this being brought about in the first episode. Oh, what I have here, some I'm, I'm hoping you are ready to meet you when these. Oh, yeah, yeah, we sure will meet. Oh, yes, how are you doing, uh, Louise? Yes, I would love to meet you. Sure would, and I'm a wave to you. Oh, a wave back. There we go. All right. Yes, I um, I like creating this stuff like this here. Um, I'm at my studio at the moment, like, and I was speaking about the uh, Hardliner web series. Is uploaded on my YouTube channel. You can check this out. Five minute episodes is what I'm uh, experimenting with. Um, and in the process of that, I want to indulge into the world of Buck Velvet and his rogue gallery of criminals. I'm inspired by the comic book art of Dick Tracy. I, I just I just love the way Chester uh, Gould made these criminals illustrate come to life. And the soap opera story that he lays out. You never know where that comic book was going to go every month. Or however they uh, publish them. I believe it was every month, most of them. I got several of them around the house now. Uh, I'm going to probably put them on the wall. You know, have them, have them slabbed and put on the wall. Because I, I love the art, the way they were drawn, colored, and all of that. Uh, today we have the legacy of Dick Tracy in the trench coat and the yellow uh, a, a fedora. But originally, when you see Dick Tracy in the early days, he didn't have the yellow fedora or trench coat. It was probably a black suit coat, and he had a brown or a blue hat, you know, federal hat. Later on, during the 50s, he became uh, stationary, you know, where it was every comic book, he had the yellow trench coat, he had the yellow hat. Now, why they did that, I have no idea. Uh, probably to the... the to single him out amongst all the other characters, so you knew he was coming. You see Dick Tracy, that yellow coat, oh, yeah, that's Dick Tracy, you yeah. know. And the black exploitation films were great, like uh, Shaft, I'm a single out uh, Super Fly. I'm not talking about that one. That was from the Son of Parks, you know, I'm not talking about that one. But uh, Trouble Man, they were crazy, give me, don't get me wrong, and they had this uh, um, um, way of... Um, probably degenerizing uh, uh, certain peoples under certain standards or ways, but but their their color tone and the way that they created their their storyline, it was like they cut out a lot of stuff to get to the point. I kind of like that. That, that. that was attractive as an artist, you know. So that's where we go with the Hardliner uh, uh, web series, is that five minutes, you're going to get drawn into a soap opera. And each story will continue on as it fo focuses out. I'm planning planning to do 20 some odd episodes. And within that context, I wanted to experiment with the art of the um, of, 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 of the, the Dick Tracy and the black exploitation and to have elements of different types of effects that I pro probably wouldn't do on a normal run. I'm just want to ex technically experiment with things. They may work, they may not work. You know, that's the whole concept of experiment is that you may come out with something that you didn't like. And the rating of my first episode, I'm, I'm, I personally a little disappointed in my efforts, but that's okay. But that don't mean people won't like it. 
It's just that the artist himself said, well, you know, I didn't want to do that one there. I'm trying to do something a little different. I was going for this or aiming for that. That's just the way it is. I'm not trying to standardize anything too quickly or rubber stamp it on out there. I'm not trying to do that and, and commercialize it. I'm just experimenting and enjoying the, the creativity of artwork. Now, overall, I love making the episode. I'm already got the second uh, story lined out. I'm going to get writing on it probably in another week, uh, three or four weeks from now. I have other, I'm going to start back working on my uh, Garden of Heathens, Shape of Events to Come. I scripted last night. I want to get it scripted and done by the, the first of next year so me and Eric Young can begin working on it in the spring with no problem, you know. But uh, they, uh, that's what we're here today, is to announce the Hardliner web series upload. It's on YouTube right now. It's on all my social social media stuff, Blogger, Twitter, Facebook, and of course the RG Studios YouTube channel right at this moment. Appreciate you coming in, checking this out for the moment, and we have loaded it up. If you like some of it, dislike it, or whatever, or how it uh, affects you in whatever way you feel like commenting, please do. And we'll see you again next time. Thank you.